Now that our Facebook campaign and the ad set is ready, all that's left to do is to work on our final ad copy and then we'll be able to launch our ads at the end of this video. The first thing that we did is create a Facebook campaign. Click on edit over here to go inside the campaign configuration. Inside you'll also have the details for the ad set and the ad which we are about to work on. In the campaign, we chose the engagement objective, which means that we're telling Facebook that we want them to give us an audience that will engage with the post that we are about to create in the final ad copy. The reason that we want to go with the post boost engagement type is because we want people to interact with our post to see if this product is an interesting product. They will like it, they will comment, they will share. And this way we'll know that the product is interesting. Our Facebook pixel will already start gathering data and information for audiences that are relevant for our niche. And we're not spending a lot of money doing it because post boost engagement is the cheapest audience to reach out to and have our post go viral. Once our post goes viral from the post boost engagement, we can use that same post to run purchase campaigns or view content campaigns and other conversion settings, which I will talk to you in just a few minutes. So we chose the post boost engagement and that is the campaign objective that we have running here. Next, we click on next and then we moved on to the ad set over here. So let's click on that. And over here is where we set our daily budget, which should be from five to $10 for at least three days. So we can see if our ads are interesting, if they're delivering well, or if they won't, three days will give you enough time to gather that information. One or two days is not enough to gather enough information to see if it's performing well or not. Later on, we move down to the audience demographics. We chose a worldwide location because for post boost engagement, you can just shoot it out to the whole world. Facebook will find the cheapest audience to interact with your ad. Then we chose the age and the gender. Then we moved on to the detail targeting. And here is where we narrow down an audience from billions to just about 12 million people, which is enough for post boost engagement. By the way, if we weren't going for post boost engagement, if this was a conversion campaign like add to cart or view content or purchase campaigns, then you'd want to narrow this down to about two to four million people. Since at that point, you're really breaking down your audience and you know how to find the audience that will buy your product. But that is for later on when our Facebook pixel is bigger and stronger and they'll know how to find that audience. We narrow down the audience by narrowing down the interests and telling Facebook that our target audience has to have one of these interests and also one of these interests at least. If they don't have one and also the other, this audience is not an audience that I want to show my ad to. That is the ad set and now we're moving on to the final ad copy. The final ad copy is going to use all of the information and configurations that we chose in the ad set and in the campaign. That is why the ad copy comes in the end. So let's start working on that now. The first thing you have is the ad name, which we chose when we started the campaign. Then you have the identity where you have to choose the Facebook page that will be connected to this ad. So we are going with Doggy Dog Club. Scroll down further until you get to the ad creative. And this is where you can tell Facebook if you already have a post on your page and you want to use that post for your ad, or if you don't have a post and you want to create a new post, which you can do right here. It doesn't matter which method you choose as long as you have a post to run your ad on. So if you already have a post ready on your Facebook page in the ad setup, instead of create ad, go with use existing post. Since I don't have a post yet, I'm going to create the ad over here in the ad copy. So we're going to scroll down and the first thing that you're going to do is add media, which means you're going to add the video that you have for your product. And by the way, if you don't have a video, it's fine. You can click on create video and here you can choose pictures that you have from the product using a ready template that Facebook already has on their system. And Facebook will try to create an engaging video post with the pictures that you provided. If you ask me, this method is not going to work as well as video posts. Therefore, I highly recommend to go with video ads. But if you tried your best and you know that your product is going to be a winning product and you did everything that you could and you couldn't get a video, go with this method. It should work as long as your photos are good, your text copy is good, and of course, the product is interesting to the audience that you're targeting to. So since we already have a video ready, we're going to click on add media, then click on add video. By the way, if you went with three video ad copies, good job on starting off really, really strong. I can already smell your success coming up close. So if you did create three different video types at this point, it's enough to only upload one of them. And later on, I'll show you how you can duplicate your campaigns and then create two or three campaigns with the same settings or with different settings, whatever you want but each campaign will have its own video ad. And that is what is important once you have more than one video. 
At this point, uploading one video is enough since we're only on our first campaign. So go to the directory where you save that video and upload it onto Facebook. As you can see here, the video is currently uploading. So let's give it a second. Okay, so the video finished uploading. You can see it over here in the ad creative. So we have the dual leash video. It's 14 seconds long. Your video should be anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. If you want to see an example of my videos, I'll just click on play over here. So as you can see, there's also background music, which you can hear because again, it's in my headphones. It shows exactly what problem this product is solving. It shows how it works. There's also a friendly text and everything here is on point. This is how your video ad is supposed to look like. So once you uploaded that video, scroll down to the primary text. And this is where you're going to write text, which is going to show on this part of the ad on the bottom. So you want this text to be engaging use emojis, show exactly what problem this product solves and why the audience needs to buy this product. So go ahead and work up a good text for your primary text. Let me show you what I created. I'm just going to paste it over here. Dual dog retractable leash for dog lovers with two dogs, control each leash separately, tangle free mechanism and shipping is on us. Now, don't forget that while you're on this post boost engagement post, you're reaching out to the whole world, worldwide, anywhere, any country that Facebook will find the cheapest audience for me to interact with my ad, go ahead and show them this ad. But those countries will not be able to buy from your store because you only set USA in your shipping zone settings. So if people are interacting with your ad and they're telling you that they're trying to buy it and they don't have the option, check with your source to see if they will send to that country, create a shipping zone and let those people buy from you. The point of the post boost engagement ads is not to create sales. It's only to get a viral post in a cheap form and to test if the product is interesting at all, like I mentioned a few times before, and to also start muscling up our Facebook pixel because it needs to optimize its performance in the future ads that we are going to run. So this is the ad copy that I'm going to use. This is the text that I'm going to use. Here is the video. Next, if you'd like to write some more text, click on add options, but you don't want too much text. This is enough. It's on point and it's precise. Next is the call to action button. Now you want a call to action button. What it is, is usually if you look over here on the ad, there will usually be a call to action button over here to tell the audience. All right, if you like this ad and you like this product, click here and go to buy it. So the call to action is very important. And in this case, we are going to use the shop now call to action. So click on shop now. Now you have to enter the website address for the product that you are trying to promote. You're not going to link to your homepage, but rather to the product page directly to the product page, because that's what you want people to buy. So here's the link to my product. I pasted it over here and we're going to click on preview URL just to make sure that Facebook knows how to direct to the right page, which we want. So let's just give it a second and here we go. It's directing to the right page. So we check that, go back to the Facebook ads. So you have the ad creative when we uploaded the video, which is what you can see over here. Then you have the primary text, which you can see up here. And when they click on see more, it'll show them the rest of the text as you just saw from what I just did. And they will have the shop now call to action, which we added over here. You can see it on the ad on the right side. Once they click anywhere on this box over here, it will take them to doggydogclub.com slash this whole URL, which will take them to the product page where they can click on add to cart or buy now. So far, so good. Let's continue. Scroll down under the call to action. You will see the Facebook pixel where you will have to choose the right pixel. If you only have one pixel, it's going to show you the right one but we already named it. So we know that this is the right pixel, the doggy dog club pixel. So that is about it. Our final ad copy is ready. Everything is set up correctly. We have the campaign where we set our post boost engagement objectives. We have the ad set where we set the audience demographics, their ages and their general interests. Then we have the final ad copy where we uploaded the video and created the creative for our ad. Everything looks good. Everything is ready. Take a deep breath. You are now ready to launch your ad. Do not be afraid. It's only five to ten dollars a day. And the money that you are spending is definitely worth the knowledge that you are acquiring here. So the only thing that's left to do at this point is click that publish button on the bottom right. 
before you do that, I highly urge you to watch this video again to make sure that you didn't miss out on anything. Go to your campaign settings, go to your ad set settings, see your final ad copy settings again, and then go on to click the publish button. Let's go ahead and do that together. Click on publish, publishing one of three. One is the campaign, the second is the ad set, the third is the ad. Let's give it a second to finish the publishing and then I'll show you what will happen on the next screen where our ads will go under verification. Okay, multiple items published, one campaign, one ad set and one ad were published. Now let's click on the X over here and go back to our campaign page. As you can see here, the campaign is in review. If we click on the ad set, we will see that it's also in review. And if you click on the ad, you will see that the ad is also in review. In just a couple of hours from now, Facebook is going to check this ad and they're going to approve it. Once they approve it, they will start shooting out this ad to the worldwide audience and try to get a post boost engagement for this ad so we can have a viral ad. Once again, our Facebook pixel is going to already start gathering information and valuable data from the audience that we are trying to get and you will have a viral post and you will know if your product is interesting. If it is, use that viral post to create another ad. And if you want to know when is a good time to create another ad with a purchase or add to cart conversion to start getting real sales and real profits, I will talk about that in the next lesson where you will learn how to analyze these ads that you just ran right now. Your assignment for this lesson is to create your final ad set copy upload that video, create that engaging text, and go ahead and launch your ad. Congratulations on making it this far. This was a very important lesson and you just took a huge step. Launch your ad and I'll see you in the next lesson.